Scotty G here. As y'all know, I am from, some, from South Florida, and I have Sydney Fujikawa here, independent filmmaker, actor, producer. She is in Fort Lauderdale, my area, Miami area. Actually, she's in Fort Lauderdale Beach right now, getting ready for the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival. Super excited. So, Sydney, before I go ahead and talk about the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival, why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, why you're there in Fort Lauderdale? Okay, so I am here uh, showing my documentary film, uh, which is called 90 Minutes Later, and I directed and produced it, uh, started the film project five years ago, uh, right after the uh, memorial service for Vanessa Marquez, uh, who was a, uh, a 49-year-old uh, Latina actress of some note who had uh, some uh, physical and mental health issues and was in her home at a friend, texting with a friend, and the friend called the fire department for some, uh, help. To, to get her some help, because she was having seizures, and the police arrived instead, and 90 minutes later, they uh, shot her to death. Wow, so, yeah, and there was a while before they went ahead and really figured out the case or released some camera footage of yeah. what was going on, and you know, the family was really kind of concerned for a while it was going on, so, you know, why did you go ahead and want to make this film? I know um, you went to the service. Um, you did some recording to try to, you know, get some insight on it. Um, you probably wish now that you're making the film, you could have filmed, you know, everything for that was going on. But, you know, tell us. You know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, you were so, really involved. So go ahead. Yeah. So, so the, 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 uh, a brief, uh, uh, summary is uh, I was uh, I had lost my husband earlier that year very Dennis. very recently yes Dennis and Dennis uh, was also a filmmaker and um, I uh, De uh, our uh, our friend our family friend Daniel Villarreal uh, is an actor and he was in that film Stand and Deliver and um, he uh, mentioned on social media that somebody in his cast family from that film had he died. put up a post. Right. Yes. Yes. And so I, I had, I was aware of it, but I didn't really understand the gravity of the situation because I was in my own thing. But when I attended the memorial, first of all, it was held by the, the cast members who played the kids in Stand and Deliver. They literally, to this day, call themselves the kids, even though they're in their, you know, in their sixties. Uh, but they came together as a cast and staged this memorial. The other thing they said was to your point, they said, you know, please don't film this. So everyone kind of put their cameras away. Boy, do I regret that because that footage would have really, really been valuable. Made a nice impact. Yeah. After I realized what was going on and who she was and what was so special about a group of actors all these decades later kind of laying one of their own to rest and asking really important questions because no one knew what, what had happened. No one knew how to tell any bullets had gone up, no one really understood why this had happened, so there was nothing but questions. And later, uh, uh, when I was starting to kind of realize what this all was all about, I said, I suggested to my friend that, you know, if he wants, if, if he does go and seek a more truth about it, you know, he should consider taking a, a, a cameraman. And then he, he said, no, 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 that's, and then he called me a few weeks later and said, let's do that. And he said, can you help me? So I had a friend who uh, was a, uh, works as a cameraman in uh, reality TV, like Storage Wars and, and uh, uh, um, Naked and Afraid and things like that. So he had a setup. And he said, why don't you have your meeting at my house and I'll just turn the camera on. Oh, wow. And that, yeah, and that's what we did. So we were like, okay, well, now we have, a, now we have some more questions. That's really all we had was more questions. And then we just kept going, and the answers didn't come ever. Some of them, um, but we certainly amassed a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of questions and a lot of information. Um, and that's that's our film. Ninety minutes later, and, and they uh, dive into the not just the physical, but maybe some mental, um, you know, conditions. Yeah. So um, you know, we we were. We, at one time, were very, very, spending a lot of time with Vanessa's mother, and she had, like, all of Vanessa's paperwork in a box. And we had hoped to, 
get into a discussion with her about what uh, what was really happening with Vanessa and her body and her mental health. Um, uh, we never we never got that information or understood it. We never talked to you know as and and we were not we didn't necessarily have access to caregivers and doctors, but we certainly talked to a lot of friends and a lot of professionals. And I think it's pretty clear that she was in, on the decline mentally and physically for whatever reason. And she needed help. She needed the help. And she did not need the help. <laughs> the right. Help. Well, this movie kind of helps open the eyes. Yes. You know, to that perspective. And in the industry that I deal with, you know, I see a lot of, you know, conditions, you know, that, you know, people really look for alternative, you know, help to be able to yeah. get so you know i see the uh, success stories you know i i you know i hear a lot about you know the conditions and it doesn't just affect one person you know it affects you know 10 other people because there's a lot of people that are in that family and you've yeah. probably met with a lot of people that were affected you know from what happened to vanessa so it's really great that you're bringing that to the table i'm sure a lot of people can help relate yeah and they probably have someone and if not them they have someone in their family you know that maybe they can relate to a little sure. bit more yeah, I mean, I, I, as do I, as does um, uh, Ingrid Olyu, who's also in the film. You know, we all have had family members who have, um, you know, been on that journey, trying to help right. them. Very, very difficult on the family. Um, when, when at the memorial, um, the uh, after the formal thing, after all of the actors had spoken and and uh, uh, all all the kind of formal program had ended, the the event sort of moved out into the lobby and there was a, another round of more, ca more casual eulogies. And one actor who had worked with Vanessa, her name is Julie Carmen, she spoke out and she said, I'm calling on all of you storytellers and filmmakers and writers of plays to tell the stories of people that are suffering with mental illness. And up until that point, nobody had put it in those words, but I really felt like she was speaking to me. I'm like, damn it. She's right. We gotta, we gotta talk about this. Yeah, you gotta yeah. tell her story. She's not around to, per, you know, talk for herself. So you're talking for her. So we went and talked to her. We actually, she was our second interview. We went and interviewed her at her clinic where she works, and she was, uh, she was very eye opening. Yeah, I can see. So for, you know, everyone that knows about the Fort Fort Lauderdale Film Festival, the best time to get there uh, today would be a little bit before 3.30 to make sure that you see 90 minutes later. As you all know, for me being down south, the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival, it's all about bringing people together year round, you know, while using, you know, cinema to educate, right, and inspire and showcasing really the best in filmmaking. So thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate you seeing me today, speaking with me today. I would say what advice would you have to give to you know the future actors, producers, independent filmmakers that are just starting off right now that are trying to get to the level that you're at. Oh, well, just begin. I mean, don't wait for somebody. To, even producing, you know, you're, nobody makes you a producer. You just go find that book, or you find that story, or you find that group of actors, and you just begin. Um, I and many of my friends all just, you know, and and. Uh, we're undaunted by uh, needing to be validated. You validate yourself that way. Um, the other thing I would say is, is that in terms of the film, uh, I just want to mention that it includes a, a large body of Vanessa's work. She's so talented. You will hear her doing comedy. You'll see her in clips of ER. You will hear her singing at the end. Uh, she was a, a beautiful spirit and um, a very, very interesting person. The bring tissues. And it's, yeah. a, it's been an honor to um, memorialize and interpret her life. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It sounds like it's a, it's an emotional and interesting story about Vanessa. And, you know, people should go be a part of it. And if you want to go be a part of it, that's today. And it's yeah. Fort Lauderdale Film Festival. And make sure yeah. you get there before 3.30 because the showing starts at 3.30. Yeah. And I will be there. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for coming on. It is just an honor to be able to speak with you. I know that you're extremely busy today, so thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Let everybody else know a little bit about what's going on and be able to go take advantage of going to the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival. So thank you so much, and I really appreciate you speaking with me. Thank you. Thank you.